Spring 20, seems the whole country took off on an emotional binge. Not the least inhibited by prohibition, which was a little joke Congress played on the people, making it real difficult to get anything decent to drink. Well, not if you had a bathtub. <laughs> Hello, young lady. Hello, big fella. Glad you could join me for our tour through the 20s. Oh, I'll never forget the 20s. My father lost everything he had in the stock market, poor man, and jumped off the roof of the building and broke six legs. Six legs? Mm -hmm. He landed on the Mills Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I lost everything in the market, too, all four dollars of it. Did you ever make it back? I hope to break even next week. Oh. You know, what I remember best in the 20s was our first car. Yeah. I bought my first car then, too. Yeah? Trouble was, after I paid for it, I couldn't afford the gas. Well, who could at six cents a gallon? <laughs> well, I used to park mine in the back of the house and invite girls over to sit in the rumble seat with me every night. Oh, what did you do? Rumble. <laughs> did you ever go to a speakeasy? Uh, only once. In Chicago. Some of the other kids and I kind of sneaked in, you know. What happened? It was murder, and that was just a floor show. <laughs> well, I know what you mean. I was in Chicago once, and some gangster died, and they couldn't tell if it was from natural causes or not. How come? They couldn't pry open the trunk of the car. <laughs> hey, that bathtub gin was really something, wasn't it? Sure was. In fact, at home, we're keeping the memory alive. You have gin in your bathtub? Oh, of course not. But we're making sangria in the jacuzzi. Oh. Well, you know, in those days, I was uh, breaking into pictures. I used to do one a week over at Old Republic Studios. Oh, yeah, I remember. I used to go to the theater every Saturday afternoon and see them for a nickel apiece. Yeah, well, that was more than they were paying me for making. <laughs> Duke, what was your ambition back in those days? Well, I guess to be good at my profession and to be able to close my eyes at night knowing I hadn't hurt anyone? Well, you did a lot more than that, a lot more. Well, how about you? What were your dreams in those days? Mm, show business. That's all I dreamed of. I wanted to be a flapper so bad I couldn't think of anything else. Lucy, I'll bet you'd be a hell of a flapper. Well, sure, but I just can't stand here and flap. It's not that easy, you know. But you give me a speakeasy, and I'll be ready faster than you can snap your fingers. Well, it doesn't cost anything to try.